Right. Look at this. Oh, bye. Hi, I'm James Lodge Jr. at AfterBuzz TV at the When Comes to Heart Hardy's Family Union 2. Yes, we are here in Vancouver and I'm with the wonderful, the funny, the life-changing Pascal Hutton. Life-changing, that feels like it puts a lot of pressure on me. <laughs> How are you? I'm good, I'm good. It's been a wonderful day. We've just been out there meeting all the fans of the show and taking photos with them and they've really come from everywhere. They have come from across the United States and Canada. There was a boy from China, there's people from France and Ireland. I mean, it's really been overwhelming to just see how far our show has reached and what a big audience has connected to our show. Is it funny because you're on set, you're, on, you're doing your long days, working your set in a little vacuum, then you come to something like this. Isn't that amazing? That's what I've been saying all day. We make it in a bubble and you don't really know if it is actually making a difference or connecting with people, but it, 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 what I see today is it truly is. People connect with the show in such a real way and, and they're so happy to tell you like, oh, I love this or I hate this. I'm glad you're not that person anymore. Or, you're glad you're not doing that anymore. And so it's been really fun to just get all that direct feedback. And they will tell you. Well, they'll tell me. They, many of them were like, I hate hated you when you showed up we couldn't wait for you to leave and then they were like but you turned around so now we're having one lady was like I still hate you she's like she's like you're over the top but I like you Pascal I just hate Rosemary I was like okay that's maybe too much sharing I don't need that that much truth <laughs> well that leads me into just basically you have an evolution your character especially last season really to show the other sides of you and so how do you feel about Rosemary well, I mean, I, I was talking about this before, but I love the fact that there has been such an evolution. You know, they haven't tried to keep the character pinpointed as just one thing. You know, she started out as one thing and then she's changed and evolved as new life experiences have entered her life and and that's what's exciting you no one wants to play a stagnant character and so she'll always have that larger than life quality she'll always have that spice but it's nice to show the other aspects too the vulnerability the like softer side the more truthful side to her as well as an actress to play a three-dimensional character must be wonderful yeah that's what everybody wants and so that's been a gift to see that evolution I just, I just, I, when you come on screen, you light it up. People are like, okay, what's your, because you're not, you walk a fine line, your character does, not being just, you're not a bad girl, and you're not really the heroine or a good girl, you're somewhere in between, which is more realistic. Yes, well, and I mean, I get to do the funny stuff, like, and so, and so that's been, that's always a lot of fun when that happens, and I figure if at least it makes me laugh, then that's one person. <laughs> but what, what I'm seeing today is that hopefully a lot of other people are laughing and having a good time watching uh, Rosemary's shenanigans just as much as I like doing it. She's funny, people. She is funny. I have nothing to worry about there. Um, now, you and, and, and your scene partner, especially today, it's been so funny watching you guys on here at the, at the here. At the, how do you guys really, really gel with this, you all this stuff going on in the show? I mean, how great is it to work with him? Kevin and I have such a good time. Truthfully, we just laugh all day. We just are always cracking each other up, making each other laugh, and actually sometimes we have to rein it in because it gets a little too out of hand. There's this one scene from the season that we're, we're filming right now, season four. I won't say what it is, but it involved a lot of um, improv between the two of us, and it. Uh, there was one point where I was like, okay, we got to rein this in because it, the scene was spinning out of control. We were just like one-upping each other every time to just make each other laugh and so it was a lot of fun <laughs> yeah we saw a little bit of that today too you know how fun you guys could be um compared to some of your other experiences on other shows and movies how does this one rank for you when calls the hearts this has been so wonderful because it's it's uh, not just a fun character for me to play on screen, but you know a lot of your time is just spent hanging out with these ca this cast and this crew, like off camera, and it it really is like a family, and so it makes it a pleasure to go to work every day and know that you're going to hang out with people that you actually genuinely love and enjoy. So it's it's right up there. I love it. What piece of advice were you given maybe early in your career that? serves you well today you know it's a piece of advice my dad gave me I think with my very first job my first acting job ever which was a summer stock theater show and there was a lot of kind of um, drama and politics happening behind the scenes and he said don't get sucked into that he's like you be the one ray of sunshine that makes people happy to be at work 
and I have really taken that to heart because I think that that's contagious I think that that spreads and people then don't want to get sucked into the drama they want to bring joy and and uh, fun to work because that makes the whole thing more enjoyable I actually agree with that logic very much. It's a, it's a you come in, good attitude, the day goes by faster, it goes by yeah. better. I mean, that's exactly, exactly. You, she is so pretty, you guys. I'm, just, I'm sitting here staring at her going, James, don't fan out. James, don't fan out. You're just you're so wonderful. Um, lastly, what would you like to say? You've been on the show now for several seasons. What would you like to say to the Hardys out there? I would just like to say thank you so much for welcoming our show into your hearts and your homes and your families. And keep on watching. We've got wonderful stuff in store for you and uh, I can't wait to hear what you have to say about season four. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.